is that Bangabandhu's daughter Sheikh Hasina will remain Prime Minister of whole time government, says Ubaidul Qadir. Mastermind of August 15 carnage should be unmasked and brought to justice to honor Sheikh Russell, says Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. Israeli bombardment on a hospital kills more than 500 Palestinians in Gaza, triggering worldwide condemnation and protests. And New Zealand beat Afghanistan by 149 runs in ODI Cricket World Cup in Chennai. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Shangeet Ahmed welcoming you all to News at 10. You've just heard the headlines and now on to the rest of the news. as well as the deteriorating conditions in the region which pose threats to civilians, regional security and stability. Envoys of Saudi Arabia, UAE, Qatar, Turkey, Oman, Iraq, Iran, Indonesia, Egypt, Morocco, Palestine, Libya, Algeria and Brunei joined the meeting. Later, Prime Minister's Press Secretary Esanul Karim briefed the newsman. Foreign Secretary Masood bin Momen briefed reporters after a meeting between Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and ambassadors and high commissioners of 14 OIC countries led by Palestinian Ambassador Yusuf Sai Ramadan at Gonopabun. During the meeting, the Foreign Secretary said the Prime Minister condemned the Israeli airstrike on a hospital in Gaza and called on Israel to immediately stop the fighting. Takasto Palestine ambassador netrite ekta choddo shodosher ekta OIC bhukto je desh gulo ase tader choddo jon rashtrodut ebong sharjda affairs onara dekha korechen mananiyo pradhan mantrir sathe samprotik shomoy Gaza upotokote je shohingshota hocche ebong bishesh kore gotokalke je ekta hospital e attack kora hoyeche ebong shekhane prochur apner shishu ebong nari মারা গিয়েছে এবং এখনো ধ্বংসাবশেষ থেকে উদ্ধার করা হচ্ছে লাশ সেই সম্পর্কে তারা ওনাদের বক্তব্য তুলে ধরেছেন এবং ওনারা বাংলাদেশের যে স্ট্যান্ড আছে প্যালেস্টাইনের ব্যাপারে সেই স্ট্যান্ডের ভূষে প্রশংসা করেছেন এবং বাংলাদেশ যাতে অব্যাহত রাখে তাদের সমর্থন নৈতিক সমর্থন এবং অন্যান্য যে সমর্থনগুলো আছে বিভিন্ন আন্তর্জাতিক ফোরামে সেই ব্যাপারে ওনারা আশা ব্যক্ত করেছেন এবং জবাবে মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রী বাংলাদেশের অবস্থান পুনর্ব্যক্ত করেছেন যে এবং উনি বলেছেন যে এই ধরনের সহিংসতা অবিলম্বে বন্ধ হওয়া দরকার এবং উনি তীব্র নিন্দা জ্ঞাপন করেছেন Meanwhile, Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momen has urged United Nations Security Council, UNSC, to hold Israel accountable on war crimes charges for its ongoing attacks on Palestinian civilians, UN aid workers and health personnel, defying international human rights laws. Dr. A.K. Abdul Momen, now in Jeddah, to join an open-ended extraordinary meeting of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, Executive Committee, over the ongoing Israeli atrocities in Gaza. The Foreign Minister said Bangladesh strongly condemned the Israeli aggression in the occupied Palestinian territory, which has resulted in loss of over 3,000 lives, one-third of whom are children. Bangladesh strongly condemns the barbaric bombing on the Gaza hospital, which is totally unacceptable, he added. Sheikh Russell Day, 
is being observed in the country today in a befitting manner, marking the 60th birth of Shohit Sheikh Russell, the youngest son of father of the nation, Bongabundhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. The cabinet division declared October 18th the birthday of Sheikh Russell as Sheikh Russell Day under the category Ko. This year, the theme of the day is Sheikh Russell, Radiant, Fearless, Serene, Durjoy. Russell, also the youngest brother of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, was born on October 18th in 1964 at the historic Bongabondhu Bob Pabon in Thanmundi in the capital. Sheikh Russell was brutally assassinated along with most of the family members, including his father Bongabondhu, on August 15 of 1975 when he was a student of class 4 at the University Laboratory School. To mark the day, Awami League and its different associate bodies and various social and cultural organizations have choked out elaborate programs. President Mohammad Shahbuddin and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina issued separate messages on Sheikh Russell Day. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has denounced the attack on a hospital in Gaza that killed innocent people, including children, reiterating her call to global leaders to stop the war and arms race for the well-being of mankind. The Prime Minister was addressing a program marking the Sheikh Russell Day 2023 and distribution of Sheikh Russell Podok 2023 and Smart Bangladesh Podok 2023 coinciding with the 60th birthday of Sheikh Russell, the youngest son of the father of the nation, Bongabundhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Sheikh Hasina also distributed Sheikh Russell awards among the winners of competitions in different categories including education, painting, sports and culture. Sheikh Russell Jatiyo Shishu Kishore Porishod, an information and communication technology division, jointly organized the program at the Bang B Bongobondu International Conference Center in Dhaka today. The Prime Minister said the war and arms race never brought welfare for mankind except for destruction and the women and children are the worst sufferers of the conflict. She also said the world witnessed beginning of Russia-Ukraine war last year and now sees the Israeli attack on Palestine. People and children are being killed both in Palestine and Israel, the Premier said. On August, Baba, Ma, Bhai, Shabai ke hatta paar, shab sheshi rasal ke nirma bhave hatta kare. Amar chhoto bolna abhi bideshe chilam, chhati bocha rashte pai ni. Aar amader hatta bicha chauro dikha chilo na. Kono arak milchay dictator pocha tere paar, jati pita bangu bande shek mujib ka hatta kare paari je khomota dakhal kare jail jia. Indemnity ordinance jari kar. Jonga ne bhot churi kare. Parliament bani hai chhagani shayi ayin cha ayin e poinat to kari. Amar chhutra rasir chhona armo to aad jane ho kao ke bhabhe jibon dite na hai. Aakta phool na phootte jane jhole na jai. Shetai amar kamana. Shakol shishur jibon shundur hok, shafol hok. Bangladesh aaj ke jibon naane paddhur egi jatche. Un naane shil desh hi shabhe aamla jane ho bhobi shat egi jye Bangladesh ke दो हजार एकचल साल मध्य उन्नत समृद्ध स्मार्ट बांगलेश हिसाब से गढ़े तुलते आज के शिशु से कांडारी से शैली तार गढ़े तुल्बे हासपाले बम्बी को मानुष मेरे शिशु मारा चाहिए रक्त रक्त से शिशु दे चेहरा हमें विश्व नेतृबृंद के बोल युद्ध बंध करें अस्त्र प्रतिजोगिता बंध करें युद्ध अस्त्र मानुष मंगल आने ना सब तक कष्ट भाई शिशु और नारी रा आज युवक का दाय जीवन अमर तो जानी है कष्ट टा की तार पर अमर तो रिफ्यूजी से भी विदेश थकते हुए थे शो तो आरो कष्ट हो ये जो ना हम लोग युद्ध चाहिए ना युद्ध बंद हो कर जो नहीं हमें आवंटन जाना ही बोलों ये अस्त्र बनाने 
presided over by ICT Division State Minister Junaid Ahmed Pollock. The program was also addressed, among others, by ICT Division Secretary Mohammad Shamsul Arifin and leaders of Sheikh Rasul Jatiyo Kishu uh, uh, sorry, Jatiyo Shishu Kishor Porishad. The Prime Minister also inaugurated and laid the foundation stone of some development schemes including Sheikh Russell Animation Lab and Sheikh Kamal IT Training and Incubation Centers under the ICT divisions by swiping a smart card. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina paid homage to the martyrs of the Bangabundu family, including Shohid Sheikh Russell, by placing wreath at Bonani graveyards for those who were brutally assassinated on the 15th of August, 1975. Prime Minister, along with her younger sister, Sheikh Rehana, went to Bonani graveyards in the morning today and laid wreath on the graves, pay paying rich tributes to the martyrs of the Bangabundu family. On the occasion, the Prime Minister and her younger sister offered Fatiha and joined a special monajat seeking eternal peace for the departed souls of the father of the nation, Bongobundhu, Bongo Mata, and other martyrs of the 15th August carnage. Later, the two daughters of Bongobundhu spread flower petals on the graves of the martyrs. The Wamuni General Secretary and Road Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Qadir said many political parties will take part in the next parliamentary polls. The elections will not stop even if one or two parties boycott it and the polls will be acceptable, he added. Obaidul Qadir said this after paying tributes at the grave of martyr Sheikh Russell at the Bonani graveyard in the capital marking his birth anniversary today. Election, Sambidane, so Nyom Mene, J election, so J election, Teodi, Ong Son, Ani, Sedatunoto, election, Teo, Oneke, Ong Son, Bohu Dolom, and Akta to the Dol, Ong Son, Ani, election in Hiki, Tate election to Abudo, Round of Governor. The Road Transport and Bridges Minister said the law enforcement agencies are arresting only those who are accused in different previous lawsuits, not in fresh ones. <laughs> Earlier, Awami League General Secretary Obadul Qadir, along with senior leaders of his party, paid homage at the grave of martyr Sheikh Russell. Later, a prayer was offered at the mosque of the graveyard, seeking eternal blessings for the departed souls of the victims of August 15 brutality, including martyr Sheikh Russell. Central leaders of the Awami League, leaders and activists of different associate organizations of the Awami League and cross-sections of people took part in the prayer. Information and Broadcasting Minister and Awami League Joint General Secretary Dr. Hassan Mahmood said the killers of August 15 carried out crimes against humanity and BNP's founder Zia Rahman was one of the major actors of that brutality. He said this to journalists today after paying floral tributes at the Bonani graveyard marking the martyr Sheikh Russell's birthday and Sheikh Russell Day. <laughs> তখন নারী ও শিশুদের হত্যা করা হয়নি 
অথচ উনিশশো পঁচাত্তর সালের পনেরোই আগস্ট শেখ রাসেলের মতো শিশুকে হত্যা করা হয়েছিল নারী ও শিশুদের রেহাই দেওয়া হয় চার বছরের সুকান্ত বাবু বারো বছরের বেবি সন্নিয়াবত দশ এগারো বছরের আরিফ সন্নিয়াবত এবং অন্তঃসত্তা আর্যমণিকে হত্যা করা হয়েছে কিভাবে খুনিরা সেদিন মানবতার বিরুদ্ধে অপরাধ সংগঠিত করেছিল দুঃখজনক হলে সত্য এই মানবতার বিরুদ্ধে অপরাধ উনিশশো পঁচাত্তর সালে পনেরোই আগস্ট যিনি সংগঠিত হয়েছিল সেটির অন্যতম প্রধান খুশিলভ ছিল বিএনপির প্রতিষ্ঠাতা জিয়া রহমান তারা যে খুনের মাধ্যমে তাদের যে উত্থান এবং সেই খুনের রাজনীতি তারা এখন অব্যাহত রেখেছে এবং দেশটাকে তারা এখন বিশ্ব বেনিয়াদের হাতে তুলে দিতে চায় আসলে শেখ রাসেলের আত্মার প্রতি তখনই সম্মান জানানো হবে যখন পনেরোই আগস্টের খুশিলব্ধের মুখে সম্মোচিত হবে তাদেরকে বিচারণা তয় আনা সম্ভব হবে তার আগে শেখ রাসেলের আত্মার প্রতি যথাযথ সম্মান প্রদর্শন করা হবে না উনিশশো সালের পনেরোই আগস্টের শহীদদের প্রতি সম্মান প্রদর্শন করা হবে না The world famous football player Ronaldinho paid a courtesy call on Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina at Gonopopon today. During the meeting, Sheikh Hasina said the visit of Ronaldinho to Dhaka will encourage players and fans of football in Bangladesh. In reply, Ronaldinho highly appreciated Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina for her leadership role for the development of football in Bangladesh as well as for empowering women and bringing them in sports including football arena. President Mohammad Shahbuddin underwent a cardiac bypass surgery successfully at the National University Hospital in Singapore today. The president in, is now at the intensive care unit. His health condition is stable and getting improved gradually. The surgery was completed at the National University Hospital under the supervision of eminent cardiac surgeon Professor Kofid Theorodos. President Mohammad Shahbuddin sought blessings from the countrymen for his speedy recovery. Awami League General Secretary Obaidul Qadir delivered his party's final message to BNP saying that Bangabandhu's daughter Sheikh Hasina will remain Prime Minister of Pole Time Government ahead of the next general elections. He delivered the message while addressing a peace and development rally at the south gate of Baitul Mukaram in the capital this afternoon. কোকুলচা জুস খায় অনশন বন্ধ করে দেয় আপনি শের বার্তা দিতে ক্ষমতা ছেড়ে দিতে আমি আপনাকে শের বার্তা এটাই দেখছি যে আগামী নির্বাচনে বঙ্গবন্ধুর কন্যা শেখ হাসিনা নির্বাচনী সরকারের প্রধানমন্ত্রী থাকবে বার্তা দিয়ে দিচ্ছি নির্বাচনের পর ইনশাল্লাহ আল্লাহ রহমতে জনগণের ভোটে নির্বাচিত হয়ে শেখ হাসিনা আবারও বাংলাদেশের প্রধানমন্ত্রী Awami League General Secretary said foreigners from whom BNP is having courage are now busy managing their own houses. কঠিন হয়ে পড়েছে যাদের কথা বলছে তাদের চারিপাশে অশান্তির আগুন এ আগুন সামাল দিতে পারছে না তারা ঘর সামলাবে না এখানে এসে আপনাকে উৎসাহ দিবে উৎসাহ দেওয়ার দিন চলে গেছে অবরোধ করবে কি করবেন আপনারা দাঁড়াতে দেব না যারা বলেছেন যে 
শান্তিপূর্ণ নিরপেক্ষ অবাধ স্বচ্ছ নির্বাচন করতে হবে বাধা যারা দেবে তাদের বিরুদ্ধে নিষেধা অবরোধ যারা করবে টাকা অচল করবে যারা তারা এই বাধা দিচ্ছে এই বাধা যারা দিচ্ছে তাদের বিরুদ্ধে বন্ধুরা কি ব্যবস্থা নেই আমরা দেখব addressing the rally other speaker said if pnp tries to block at dhaka the party will receive befitting reply unnader bangladesh oder bhalo lage na shikkhar jole shikkhar poribesh shushto poribesh oder bhalo lage na aborodh korbe aborodh jodi kore deshe jodi kono ashtitishilota kore অশান্তি সৃষ্টি করে নির্বাচনকে বাধাগ্রস্ত করে তাহলে আপনাদেরকে দাঁত ভাঙা জবাব দেওয়ার জন্য আমরা প্রস্তুত আজকে দেশকে নিয়ে একটি ষড়যন্ত্র শুরু হয়েছে সেই ষড়যন্ত্র হচ্ছে এই বিএনপি জামাত বিদেশি সকল আমাদের দেশে নিয়ে আসতে চায় তারা জনগণের দিকে তাকায় না জনগণের দিকে না তাকিয়ে তারা কখন বিদেশি সকলরা আসবে এবং আমাদের ছবল মারবে সেই ক্ষিপ্ত সেইভাবে তাকিয়ে আছে কাজ যেমন ওই খাবার উচ্ছিষ্টকে বিতরণ করছে সেই দিকে তাকিয়ে থাকে বিএনপিও কা কার সেগুনের দিকে তাকিয়ে থাকে কদিন আগে তারা সিলেটে সমাবেশ করেছে সমাবেশ করে বলেছে কি দেশের মানুষ নাকি চাল ডাল কিনতে পারে না আর সিলেটে বিএনপির যে কন্ট্রাক্টর খাবার সাপ্লাই দিয়েছে সে বলেছে যে দশ হাজার মানুষের বিরিয়ানি তৈরি করেছে তবে বারো হাজার মানুষ খেতে পারবে তারা বিরিয়ানি খেয়ে আপনার মোরগ পোলাও খেয়ে বললো দেশে মানুষ খেতে পারে না সুতরাং এদেরকে চিনে রাখতে হবে এরা বিদেশিদের হাতে দেশ তুলে দিতে চায় আমরা আমাদের শক্তি এই জনগণ আমাদের শক্তি এই বিশাল স্বভাবে আর তাদের শক্তি বিদেশি সকল এই বিদেশি সকলের পদলহনকারীদের হাত থেকে দেশ থেকে রক্ষা করতে হবে আমরা কিছু বলি না আমরা সহ্য করি আমরা ধরি না ধরি না বললে পরে সারি না সারি না ছাড়ব না প্রেসাইডেড ওভার বাই প্রেসিডেন্ট অফ ঢাকা সিটি সাউথ আওয়ামী লীগ Abu Ahmed Manafi the meeting was also addressed by presiding members of Awami League Shah Jahan Khan Mufazzal Hussein Choudhury Maya advocate Kamrul Islam Dr Mustafa Jalal Mohiuddin Abdul Rahman Jubilee chairman Sheikh Fazle Shams Porosh mayor of Dhaka South City Corporation Sheikh Fazle Noor Tapush president of Dhaka City North Awami League Sheikh Bazlur Rahman General Secretary SM Mannan Kochi and General Secretary of Dhaka City Awa South Awami League Humayun Kabir And now international news Bombardment has struck a packed hospital compound in central Gaza killing an estimated 500 people including patients and displaced Palestinians sheltering inside according to officials in the besieged Gaza Strip The health ministry In Gaza said Wednesday's blast at the Al Ahli Arab Hospital was caused by an Israeli air raid. Israel has attributed the explosion to a misfired rocket launched by the Palestinian Islamic Jihad PIJ armed group and the PIJ has denied the allegation. The attack quickly sparked international condemnation as news outlets and social media became filled with images of burning rooms and heavy stretchers. Jordan's king Abdullah II meanwhile called the attack a massacre and shame on humanity. The Gaza Health Ministry issued a statement explaining the hospital had a severed of had served a vital role in offering shelter to civilians. Tens of thousands of families have flocked to Gaza's overwhelmed hospitals seeking refuge from seemingly endless Israeli army shelling. US President Joe Biden has arrived in Israel to meet Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. 
He pledged U.S. support for Israel and said last night's hospital attack in Gaza appears to have been caused by the other team. Israel says the blast on Tuesday evening was caused by a rocket misfired by Palestinian militants. Speaking alongside Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Biden said, I was deeply saddened and outraged by the explosion of the hospital in Gaza yesterday. And based on what I have seen, it appears as though it was done by the other team, not you. Netanyahu, for his part, thanked Biden for his visit, noting your visit here is the first visit of, of an American president in Israel at a time of war. Biden's trip to the Middle East was, supported to, was supposed to calm the region even as he demonstrated U.S. support for its ally Israel, which has vowed to annihilate the Hamas movement whose fighters killed 1,400 Israelis in a rampage on October 7. The Israel attack on Gaza hospital has sparked worldwide reaction. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres said that the Hamas attacks cannot justify the collective punishment of the Palestinian people. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Al Khomeini accused Israel of carrying out a genocide against the Palestinians in Gaza. Jordan announced the cancellation of a summit involving U.S. President Joe Biden. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said he was deeply shocked by a blast at the Gaza hospital, adding that the perpetrators must face justice. The African Union chief, Musa Faki Mahamat, accused Israel of a war crime following the deadly strike on the Gaza hospital. Russia and the United Arab Emirates called for an emergency United Nations Security Council meeting following the deadly strike on the hospital in the Gaza Strip. Thousands of protesters took to the streets across the Middle East and North Africa to show their outrage in the aftermath of a deadly Israeli air attack on the Al-Ahli Al-Arabi Hospital in Gaza. Spontaneous protests have erupted in Jordan, Turkey, Lebanon, Iran and Iraq, as well as in the West Bank cities like Ramallah. Those demonstrations come in response to the hospital bombing, estimated to be the single deadliest attack since the Israeli-Hamas war began in October 7. The health ministry on Gaza said at least 500 people were killed as bombs fell on the central Gaza hospital where displaced Palestinians were sheltering. Chinese President Xi Jinping hailed his close friendship with the Vladimir Putin on Wednesday as he hosted the Russian leader for talks that celebrated their nation's deepening political and economic ties. Putin, on his first trip to a major global power since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, met his old friend Xi at Beijing's Great Hall of the People on the sidelines of a major forum. In his talks with the dear friend Xi, Putin stressed the importance of close coordination in foreign policy in the current difficult conditions. Addressing the Bree summit, Russian President Vladimir Putin touted his country's deep alignment with China, where Chinese leader Xi Jinping pitched his vision for a reshaped world order. Xi laid out a vision for the Bree, which he has positioned as an alternative to Western-led development. The trillion dollar re aims to bring China closer to the world through infrastructure and investments. And now some other international news in brief. The United States authorized non-essential personnel and their families to leave their embassy near the Beirut, citing the unpredictable security situation in Lebanon due to the Israeli-Hamas war. Kiev used U.S.-supplied long-range Akatams missiles on the battlefield against Russian forces. Meanwhile, Russian missile attacks on the city of Zaporozhia in the southeastern Ukraine killed two people. Thai Prime Minister Shreta Thavisin has invited Russian President Vladimir Putin for an official 
visit next year in Beijing today. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has thrown Putin into international isolation, leaving him with a few allies. Sweden's Prime Minister has warned that his country is facing the biggest threat in modern history after a gunman in Brussels killed two Swedes in an attack that authorities are investigating as terrorism. Inside the stadium for two Cambodia's newest and biggest airport open to the commercial operations in the province of Siem Reap in the country's northwest this week. The China-funded Siem Reap Angkor International Airport is now the main gateway to one of the country's most popular tourist sites, the UNESCO-listed Angkor Archaeological Complex. No improvement was seen of the dengue situation prevailing across the country as 16 died during the last 24 hours. A press release of the Directorate General of Health Services said among the dead, three were in Dhaka and 13 were outside Dhaka. 2,495 dengue patients were admitted to different hospitals across the country during the last 24 hours. Among them, 574 dengue patients were hospitalized in Dhaka city and 1,921 outside Dhaka. A road show was held at the Sheraton Hotel in the capital today for the prize determination of the initial public offerings or IPO of the Borak Real Estate Limited. The road show also aimed at raising awareness about construction of modern and earthquake enduring buildings in the country. Managing Director of Borak Real Estate, Mohammad Noor Ali, among others, were present on the occasion. Borak Real Estate Limited primary business includes the construction, sale and leasing of luxurious residential and commercial buildings as well as hotel operations. And now news on sports. New Zealand beat Afghanistan by 149 runs in the ICC ODI World Cup in Chennai. New Zealand batted first and scored 288 runs for six in the stipulated 50 overs. Glenn Phillips scored 71 runs, while Tom Latham scored 68 runs for the Kiwis. In reply, Afghanistan were all out for 139 runs in 34 overs, four balls. Mitchell Santina and Lockie Ferguson took three wickets each for New Zealand. Glenn Phillips was a judged man of the match. Bangladesh will take on India in the ICC ODI World Cup 2023 in Pune tomorrow. The match will start at 2.30 p.m. Bangladesh Standard Time at the Maharashtra Cricket Association ground. Earlier, Bangladesh won the first match against Afghanistan but lost to England and New Zealand. And to end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina holds meeting with the envoys of 14 OIC countries saying Bangladesh always stands by the Palestine. Nation celebrates Sheikh Russell Day, the 60th birthday of Sheikh Russell, youngest son of father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina it urges global leaders to stop war and arms race for well-being of mankind. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina pays homage to martyrs of August 15 at Bonani graveyard including Sheikh Russell. Awami League's final message to BNP is that Bangabundu's daughter Sheikh Hasina will remain Prime Minister of Pole Time Government, says Ubaidul Qadir. Masterminds of August 15 carnage should be unmasked and brought to justice to honor Sheikh Russell, says Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. Israeli bombardment at a hospital kills more than 500 Palestinians in Gaza, triggering worldwide condemnation and protests. New Zealand beat Afghanistan by 149 runs in ODI Cricket World Cup in Chennai. That's all from us for the moment. Do join us again for our 11.30 news in Bangla 
and meanwhile keep your homesteads clean and stay safe from dengue. Khuda Hafiz.